Good afternoon, cigar lovers. It's Tem here again, and welcome to uh, another review hosted by CigarsIndia.in, India's largest and most trusted online retailer of cigars. Now, today the guys have given me a challenge, and uh, the challenge is to review uh, a cigar called, uh, it looks to me as uh, Five Vegas or Vegas Five, but it could be Cinco or Sank, uh, Sink. Vegas, if you're trying to say it in Spanish, I guess. Anyway, they come in a nice presentation box like this. This is actually the Torpedo range, and uh, it just looks very good. I mean, the construction of the box looks good. Um, I think there are about 25 in there, not 20 actually, probably. Um, so an interesting uh, uh, box with a nice selection of cigars in there. The one I'll actually be reviewing is the Corona which is a uh, 5.5 uh, inch uh, by 44 Ringgate smoke. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I haven't actually smoked this uh, particular brand of cigar before, but uh, the boys have been telling me that this has got a very good uh, rating and uh, uh, a number of people around the world have uh, given rave reviews or more conservatively positive reviews about this particular cigar. So. Uh, we thought, let's find out what this is about and uh, give our thoughts on the, on, on the cigar. I'll uh, just take it out of the wrapper and uh, give it a, a pre-light uh, appearance and uh, tasting review. Uh, then I'll probably go into whatever research we managed to find about the company and the types of leaves I've actually used uh, after the experience I had of actually opening it and uh, tasting it. So uh, again, it comes in a wrapper. This hasn't been aged for very long in the wrapper, but it's not very oily. But having said that, it's got a lovely smell. It's got a lovely aged smell. And it's not a musty kind of bookshelf kind of smell. We're talking uh, nice leather here. Nice uh, leather, some uh, tobacco, but toasted tobacco. And it's just possibly a hint of sweetness. So I should be um, experiencing something quite uh, pleasant. Uh, something quite uh, interesting as well. And this is a very interesting smoke. I think we've identified what that green quality is, uh, but we had to go outside and uh, just smoke it in the open air just to get uh, a better understanding of what the aroma we were experiencing and also the taste profile we were experiencing. Now, the, that, the coffee uh, and that nutty kind of quality, especially the coffee bean quality, that's kind of dissipated completely. There's no pepperiness uh, in the cigar when you're smoking it, but I'll give you a caveat to that. The caveat is that as you smoke this cigar, you won't experience too much of that peppery quality. I kept saying that it was subtly present. The thing is, it's, it's a delayed time bomb with that peppery quality. If you puff away and then stop smoking for a while, exhale all the smoke and just leave your mouth clear, just don't smoke, just keep your mouth closed. You will find that peppery quality permeating throughout your mouth. Give it about 20 seconds to about a minute and it, you will notice it. From the lip to the tongue and towards the back of the throat, it is there, that peppery pepperiness. I guess it's not as pronounced as some of the other non-Cuban cigars that you would find, uh, but it's certainly there. Now, in terms of that green quality, Again, when we stepped outside, had a few puffs and just exhaled the smoke. Then I just blew out, or exhaled and inhaled. So the air was passing through my palate. What we detected was something like green tea. Green teas or just normal tea, which is slightly tannic, but more green tea. Not jasmine tea, not any of these other fancy teas but just something like a green tea. And that, I think, is the closest approximation we could get for that uh, green or vegetal kind of taste. It's not green or vegetal. Just imagine that nicely brewed green tea. That's what you're getting with this. Um, but you have to let the uh, air touch the palate of your tongue to actually get that and uh, to register it. All in all, a very nice and intriguing cigar. Uh, for the price point, uh, 780 rupees, pretty good going. Um, interesting taste profiles. 
got some good qualities from the Cuban cigar, Cuban seed, and Cubanesque kind of uh, aroma and, and uh, taste profile, with some added benefits of uh, a nuttiness, uh, to begin with, uh, some uh, uh, espresso coffee and burnt coffee actually as well, uh, as in the coffee bean itself at the very start, and then finishing off with a green tea at the end. That's uh, quite remarkable for a smoke. Um, so all in all, I'd give this cigar uh, a very good rating. I'd say it's about um, an 8 out of 10 for, for the price, for the size, and for the overall complexity and enjoyment I'm going through. And it's certainly not a very heavy smoke, and it shouldn't really be accompanied with uh, you know, strong whiskies or strong, uh, other strong spirits, uh, simply because you won't get those subtle flavors coming through with, it, with them in relation to the cigar. Um, so I would say it's good to enjoy uh, by itself, good during the day, probably post-lunch. Um, you let your you know, digestions uh, settle down, have a nice meal and feel very comfortable and it's a nice warm day and you just want something to kind of break down the, the food that you're digesting or have a digestive. This certainly does that and it does it in a very pleasant way. So all in all, a very good smoke. Hope you like the review, hope to see you again soon. If you have any comments or would like to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, please, please, please do so. If you have any co uh, constructive comments or criticisms, please do raise those and we'll try and accommodate and hopefully change formats simply so that we can uh, benefit you as well. The, the boys are on uh, Facebook and Twitter and uh, please give them a like on that channel as well. They can also be contacted on, uh, if you check the, uh, uh, the link below, they have their contact details and they'll be more than willing to help you out in your choice of uh, cigars and selection process. So once again, thank you very much and hope to see you again.